Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you're new, my name is Corinne and I am filming on a new camera today. Opening a new camera today was great. Um, and here I am, I'm getting ready for dinner and I actually should text my friend and say I'm getting ready. Okay, so today I figured I would do a little get ready with me catch up, um, catch up edition because it's been um, a bit and a lot of things have happened. Last video I got, I put out on my channel was my first week of work at a tech startup and it is now week six, I think, and I'm still really liking it. Uh, it's definitely different than anything I have done before professionally, um, so that's been a little bit of an adjustment, but that's okay. Um, it's a learning experience and I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, so I've been doing that and I am obviously not in South Carolina anymore. I am back in upstate New York and next week I am finally going to look at apartments in New York City. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that that has been the end goal for um, a long time now. Uh, we're going on two years. I was supposed to be in the city um, actually, I was supposed to be living in Jersey after graduation and commuting into the city and then the pandemic happened and then that didn't happen and then I was going to move to the city with my best friend Alyssa and we just, you know, things changed and we weren't able to move when we wanted to, but now we're actually looking at apartments. So stay tuned for those vlogs because I'm really excited for that. Um, oh, that's a lot of concealer. Yeah, what else? I am uh, trying to figure out how to pack up my entire life and move it into a shoebox. That's gonna take some uh, some strategizing because I'm looking around. I mean, you guys have seen my room. If you've been here, like I said, for a while, you know that I constantly change my room. I have added many pieces of furniture to this room and I just, I can't functionally bring everything in this room to the city. So I know the big things, like the bed I need to bring. Um, I might be getting a new comforter because, or not comforter, I might be getting a new mattress because it might just be easier to transport the mattress um, if I just order it and then to my apartment and it comes in like a small box kind of thing instead of lugging the whole thing. But I don't know, we'll see about that. But um, yeah. So that's, that's definitely going. The chair in the background is going. It has been with me through two years of college, um, two years of college, two years of the pandemic. Like, I just, I can't get rid of it. Um, so we're bringing it. And I, I put a chair cover on it, so I think it actually looks kind of cute. Anyways, so we're doing that and then I don't know what else I'm gonna bring actually. Uh, the TV I'm gonna bring. Um, but yeah, so like the big thing is, is that I cannot leave anything here uh, because my parents are selling this house. So everything needs to go, whether that's donated or brought to apartments, it all is gonna go. So um, yeah. I'm I'm not panicking about that at all. Um, no, it's just it's just a lot of stuff. It's really hard to move everything at once, especially going to a much smaller place. Um, but anyways, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little stressful to get there and to do everything, but it's gonna be fun. So as far as YouTube, YouTube has been. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna BS you guys. It has been at the lower half of my priorities list. Uh, and that is just because I have had no content inspiration at all. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just been like, I don't know. I go through these slumps and I feel like it's happening more and more. And I think when I'm in like my own place in like a new city, I think there'll be more inspiration. But like when you're living, when you're not seeing friends and you're like living with your parents and don't get me wrong, I love my parents daily and I had a great time in South Carolina, but it's just nice to like have inspiration from like friends and 
new experiences and, and stuff like that. So I'm definitely excited to do that. And because Alyssa and I will be living together, our podcast, Those Friends from College, will definitely get a revamp. It's so hard to do a podcast remotely, um, as some of you probably know from trying it. It's just, it's a lot and um, I don't know. It's just, it's a lot. So um, I'm excited to like be in person. Also, I'm putting pink on my lid because I saw this thing on TikTok. See, they made it look so much better than this. Okay, we're gonna have to blend that out a lot. Get a nice brown. I haven't worn eyeshadow in um, a while. So this, this is dangerous. Okay, so I don't think it looks terrible. I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, this shimmer in the, in the in the middle to maybe make it look a little bit more presentable. Oh, that actually looks like shit. Okay, well it's the best it's gonna get. So moving on. So yeah, what were we talking about? Oh, anyways, my updated makeup routine. Let's go to that. Is this? Um, I really tried to get into cool makeup like everyone was doing on on TikTok, like creating that makeup-y kind of look. And then I realized that my skills were born in 2012 with makeup and they haven't changed much since. Maybe I could put some in the inner, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, I am going out in public today. Yeah, anyway, so I've tried to teach myself the ways of the youngins, you know? And um, I, I can't do it. So this is the best we're gonna get. Putting pink on my eyelids was a big step for me and I've hated it since I put it on. This is, I don't even know if this should go up because this is a, a travesty. I look like a toddler trying to do my own makeup. Well, nothing a little highlighter can't fix. Please comment below if you are around 20, like mid 20s and are struggling to adjust to the young Gen Z makeup trends because as we can see, I I am not doing well here. It's the best we're gonna do. It's the best we're gonna do with, with what we have. Okay, how we not not well. We're not looking well. You ever just have those days? Some days you're really feeling it. And you're like, hey, look at me, you know. And other days you're like, oh, look at me. Before I flip my hair, I'm just gonna put some lip liner on. That's gonna fade off my lips in about ten minutes. Okay. And? Okay, not bad, not bad, right? Uh, biggest thing in this routine is my favorite part. I don't know what it is, but I have grown a love of fun earrings recently. And I am going to wear my favorite earrings because this place that we're going to is very open to cool different things. And um, not every place around here is, is cool about people wearing. Not that they would say anything, but they'd probably judge me. Not that I care, but anyways, these are the earrings that I'm wearing today. I got them from Etsy. I think they're beautiful and we are doing it. Okay. Okay. Sir, I need this. No. No. Can I have it? It's mine. Don't bite me. Oh my god. Okay, this is the final look. These jeans are from Nasty Gal. This um, button up is from my mom's closet. And this tank top is from Target. Yeah, okay. Let's go to dinner.